Hello one and all, my name is Ryan Bruce. My friends call me Fluff, and today on Riffs, Beards, and Gear, we're gonna check out the brand new Ox Stomp from Universal Audio. One of the most used pieces of gear in this studio, actually probably the most used piece of gear in this studio besides my actual monitors is my Universal Audio Ox Top Amp load box. I use it to get all of my amplifiers tones into my computer and into your guys' ears. I use it 99% of the time unless I'm doing a mic specific cabinet and you know, things like that. I use the Oxtop box a lot. I'm very familiar with it. I love how it sounds. And today we're going to check out its brand new little brother, the Ox Stomp from Universal Audio. And before we go any further, this video is sponsored by the fine folks over at Sweetwater. Sweetwater is your home for all things guitar tone, guitar, amplifiers, speaker, emulators, and much, much more. Check the link down below in the description to learn more. Sweetwater. So the Universal Ox Top Box has been around for a couple of years now. There's been a couple of updates, and now we have the Ox Stomp. Now, an important distinction between the Ox Top Box and the Ox Stomp is the Ox Stomp incorporates almost all of the features of the Ox Top Box except for the load box. You cannot plug an amplifier directly into this. You will blow this up and probably blow your amplifier up as well. This is for line level and microphone level signals only. Okay, so Synergy, you're good to go you know, a digital processor or a pedal preamp, you are good to go, but do not plug your, you know, tube amp into this. Now the Ox Stomp has 22 different cabs, six modeled vintage microphones, and you can load up to three microphone slots. That's microphone one, microphone two, and the room mic at a time. And you can control them via the hardware knobs on the front, which I enjoy because, you know, if I was at a gig and I need to adjust something, I don't need to go to a software or a mobile app, which we will talk about in just a second. I can just, I can just fine tune my tone right here on my pedal board. I like the tactile things. Now this comes stock with a hundred different rig presets ranging from, you know, 112 to 412 and everything in between. However, you can absolutely customize any one of those presets or make your own from scratch if you'd like using the mobile app, which we will get to in one moment. However, everything you really need is right at your fingertips and I like that part. However, let's dive in to the mobile app, I will get out my iPad and I will fire up my Synergy PV6505 module. I will plug into this and let's get some tones ripping and I will show you around the mobile app. All right, so I have the Universal Audio Aux Stomp hooked up uh, via my Synergy, Synergy PV6505 module. That's what you are hearing. And I have the iPad app loaded up. Now these are basically the slots that I can put in foot switch A and B. And if I want to, if I want to customize one of them, I can do that. However, let me show you the tones that we're going to start with. This is my UK V30 cabinet. <laughs> And this is my American a Boogie 412 rectifier cabinet. Yeah, sounds, uh, sounds like vintage 30s, right? So if we wanna go ahead and customize these, we can either just hit edit and that'll go to the selected, the selected cab. If I wanna have different states of slot two, I can then go into slot two and I can save multiple cabinets for that slot, just so you know. But right now we're gonna, we're gonna hit edit. Here is my selection of cabinets. Big, nice selection. I like this cabinet a lot, but let's play with the mic selection. So currently I have the microphone panned. Let's, let's center pan that. And let's go down to mic two. Let's center pan that a little bit. 
Um, right now I have a 67 and a 414. Let's try. Let's try 160. Let's change that out. See what we have. <laughs> A little thick. Maybe I want. Maybe I want a 57, and it is off axis. Room mics, I usually set pretty low because I don't want a lot of room in my, my you know, high gain guitar tones. However, I do generally have just a little bit. I'm gonna turn that down just a skosh. I'm also gonna make it mono since we are coming into the audio interface mono. Let's see what this room EQ is. That all looks fine. Again, the level of the room is pretty low. Master EQ, let's see what we have going on for the EQ. So you have a little bit of top end, we have a little bit of, we have a dip in the low mids and that's about it. That's fine for me. That's it. Generally, these are, this is pretty indicative of the settings I will have for a given cabinet for a high gain guitar tone as I don't like to compress on the way in. I don't like any delay or reverb or anything like that, but that's in a recording situation. Now, if this was not a recording situation, this was a gig situation, I could absolutely have some reverb. And let's go a little bit more dry. I'll switch channels on the 6505, lessen the gain a little bit. If that's the case, we're done, and I would go ahead and save that. And it's then going to go ahead and save all the changes that we've made. So, on the actual pedal itself, I can get to just about anything I need to, including the level of the individual microphones if I want to affect the balance tonally. Check this out. <laughs> Yes, it lowered in volume because there's less output from the second microphone. However, it got a lot more rounded because I'm turning down that SM57. And you can see when I'm switching in real time, it's switching in the app as well. UAD Ox Stomp. So what do I think? This thing's $400. It may seem like a lot, but this is your complete solution for your cab sim. Honestly, you know, with the Ox Top box, I don't ever wonder what the latest, you know, impulse loader or impulse packs sound like or anything like that. I am completely satisfied with how that sounds and I'm completely satisfied with how this sounds. Now, if I was building a pedal board based rig, this is what I would put on that pedal board simply because I am familiar with its tonal capabilities coming from the Oxtop box. Now that's my personal usage 
personally, that's my personal opinion. However, your mileage may vary. However, if you were looking for a dedicated speaker emulator in a stomp box package, definitely check out the Ox Stomp. It's really, really good. All the pickable links down below in the description. You've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.